Hello guys and welcome back. This is a let's practice video. So the intention of this new section of videos is to practice even more some of the vocabulary or the grammar topics we have seen before. Okay, so now instead of being working with our student's book, we're going to be working with our workbook. Okay, so for those of you who have their workbooks with them, we're working with on page 64, okay? And this video aims at just practicing more, as I told you uh, before, uh, practicing more the structure, the grammar stu structure that we worked on the last video uh, of grammar, ways of referring to the future. Okay, we are going to focus on exercise three over here. All right, so what's the idea here? In this exercise, you have to complete the mini dialogues with the correct future form of the verbs in parentheses. So, very, very similar to the last exercise we did on the last video. Okay, and here again. I want you to pause the video, okay, and complete the mini dialogues using the rules that we had completed in uh, that last video as well, okay? And after you have done this, and remember, if you don't have your uh, workbooks with you, no problems, you can complete, uh, give your answers, put your answers on your notebook or uh, any piece of paper, okay, so that later we can check together, all right? So, pause the video, do the activity, and come back here for us to check. All right, guys, was it good to practice a little bit more? Could you see this exercise a little bit more, uh, a little bit easier than the last one? Hmm. What do you think? That's very important, okay? So, the idea of practicing more is that you really internalize what you have learned in the grammar section, okay? So, let's do this, okay? I'm going to complete here, and at the end, we check all the exercises together. So, let's do this. Uh, number one, we have A. What you do on Saturday. So, probably here is, what are you doing? Oops. Doing on Saturday. And B answers, I am going to an art fair with my sister. Okay? Can you imagine why here we are using the present continuous and here also the present continues? Hmm, that's a good question, isn't it? You can go back to the rule and try to match the rule of this usage of the present continuous with this dialogue over here, okay? Number two, we have, do you think your mom let you come and stay for the weekend? And B answers, yes, I think so. I ask her tonight. So, probably here is, uh, do you think your mom will let you come and stay for the weekend? And the answer is, yes, I think so. I'll ask her tonight. And remember, you can put, I will ask her tonight or I'll ask her tonight. Okay, no problems. Three. What time the baseball game start on Saturday? And the answer is it start at 2 o'clock. So, we have what time does the baseball game start on Saturday? Why are we using the simple present over here? Can you match this idea here to refer to the future with some of the rules that we have seen in our student book? 
Hmm. Here we're talking about a game and a game starting. And because it's a big event, usually it has a schedule, right? So it has a whole previous arrangement for that. So probably that's why we're using the simple present over here. And then the answer is also the simple present, right? So it starts at two o'clock. Good. Let's do the following. Four. I look for a summer job. For a summer job. I like to work in a clothing store. And B answers. Really? My brother and I volunteer at a hospital. So I can't get her, uh, I can't get a summer job. So probably here is I am going to oops, I'm going to look for a summer job. I like to work in a clothing store. Really? My brother and I are volunteering at a hospital so I can get a summer job. So here also the question is important. Why in the first one we use going to and why in B we are using present continuous. Hmm, that's an interesting one. You can go back to the rule and try to refer to one of the situations over there as well. Okay, nice. Then number five, it's my birthday tomorrow. I hope it be sunny because we have a barbecue. And B answers, I don't think it rain tomorrow. The weather has been so nice today. Then we have, it's my birthday tomorrow. I hope it's, oops, either it's or it is sunny because we are having previous arrangement. You have already talked to people, you invited people. So it's something that you scheduled as well, okay? Then the answers, I don't think it will rain tomorrow, or I don't think it will rain tomorrow, okay? Because the weather has been so nice today. Good. And finally, number six, what time the bus leave? And the answers, it leave at six o'clock. So here again, we're talking about uh, something that happens every time in the same time, right? So we're talking about a fixed schedule. So what time does the bus leave? And then the answers. It leaves at six o'clock. Good. Did you find close answers to these ones? Hmm. Let's see. So checking our answers what we have problems over here let's see hmm probably okay i think i know what the problem is guys let's see so what are you doing on saturday i'm going to an art fair with my sister then here on number or me, uh, my brother and I are volunteering at the hospital. It's my birthday because we're having a barbecue and I don't think it'll rain tomorrow. Let's check again. Let's see if we got all right. Hmm. I don't know what the problem is. Let's see. Let's check together what was the answer. I'm going. I don't know what the problem is over here. Can you identify the problem? We put I'm going, right? I don't know. Maybe it's some, just a problem with the software over here. Okay. But the answer was right. So if you put I'm going or and if you put uh, our volunteering and are having it all correct. It, it is all correct, okay? So, 
don't worry about that. Even for me, sometimes I get, I do things in this kind of situation, right, guys? So, thank you very much for practicing. And at the end of your study guide, you have even more exercises from your workbook if you want to practice even further, okay? I think it's an excellent idea because then you can really internalize what you have been studying, all right? So, thank you very much again and see you next time. Bye!